Hey everyone, this is Amber Simmons from ambersimmons.com and today is another Cricut Design Space 101. Today we're going to be talking about how to curve your text. This is a question that I see a lot in a lot of Cricut groups and craft spaces. And to be honest, it's not the easiest thing to do in design space. It's not hard. It just doesn't do it automatically. So you're going to have to manually do it. If you wanted to use something like Illustrator or Word and curve your text and then upload that design, that would be a quicker way to go, depending on how you are wanting it to look. So in order to do it in Design Space, I'm going to show you how to do that. First, we're going to type our word. We're going to do welcome. And we are going to make it bigger. In order to get a curve, we're going to need a curve. So I need a circle. And, and it is our guide for our curve. So we need this to be however big we want our arch to be. So I'm going to make my circle big. So I've got a big arch here. I'm going to kind of line it up with the middle of my word. And the next thing we need to do is take our word and go to the right hand upper toolbar and click ungroup. We're going to have to move each of these letters individually. So let's just start moving them. Oh, and up here in the right hand corner we can turn it a little bit. Move it down into its space and turn it a little bit. It's not hard. You just have to do it manually. And this curve is just a guideline, the circle so you can see that I've got a space here and I'm okay with that. It just depends on what you want your finished project to be. And one more. It's fairly quick. It just doesn't do it automatically, like I said. So and there we go. So if I want to put that on something, I don't need my circle anymore. So I can get rid of that and I'm going to group them back together. You can group them together. You can weld them together on the bottom right hand corner so it's just one word and not individual letters in a group. But be warned, once you've welded, you cannot take them back apart once you've saved this project. So if you think you might wanna still do adjustments, do not weld them together because you're gonna have to start all over if you've saved a weld. Hopefully you found that helpful and if you did I'd love for you to give it a giant thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more tips and tutorials. I will see you guys next time. Thanks! Bye!